How to make a 3D star decoration using recycled Christmas cards. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags. 12. Hello, everyone. First thing you're going to need are two templates to make this. You, they can be found on a website, and I will put a link in the description box so you can go there and print them out. This first one is for the star points. So I printed it out and then cut it out. Now you're gonna to need to trace it onto Christmas cards. Now you can use all the same Christmas card, or in this case, I'm using all a bunch of different Christmas cards. Here's one from my friend, Daryl, who's actually a YouTube friend. And you may be able to get more than one star point from one card. Just make sure when you draw your template that you put it on the side that has the pretty image on the reverse. So in this case, I'm putting it right down to the edge because I think I can get at least two star points from this card. And then I'm going around and I'm just tracing the outline of the template using a pen. You can use a pencil. You're not going to see these lines anyway because they're going to be on the wrong side. Now you'll also need to score some lines. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just tracing over using a a ruler and I'm just pressing down so that it actually marks the cardboard Christmas card underneath. So you need to score these three flaps, one, two, and three, and then three lines, one, two, and three. You'll score those ones. Scoring it just makes it easier to fold afterwards. Now you can see when I tilt the paper, you can see the little dents that it made in the actual Christmas card when I press down with the pen. And then I cut it out. Now you're gonna fold along those score lines. And then I just used a, uh, just the pen just to reinforce the fold so it was nice and crisp. So I folded the two main long lines and then there are four little flaps, three at the top and one on the side. And I also did the same thing. I made sure that they were nice and crisp. And that's basically one star point. We just need to glue it together. Now you can see that long flap, the long one is gonna go inside so that you don't see it. Now you can use regular glue for this, but hot glue works really well because it holds solidly and it is so quick. I find using regular glue on a shiny Christmas card can be tough because it doesn't want to hold together very well. So I put a little bit of hot glue and then you're going to fold it over and make sure that flap is on the inside. And you might get a little hot glue squishing out. Just make sure you rub that off while it's still warm so you can remove it. And then you're just going to fold those last three small flaps down just so that they make like a flat surface. And that is one star point. You need 20 of these to make a completed one. And I decided to get two points from one card and I cut out another one. Now you don't have to use this particular size of star. You can make a, a much smaller one if you want to. You can just scale it down. The other template you'll need is this one. This is gonna make the center hub that all of those star points are going to attach to. So I printed it out on cardstock because I wanted it to be solid. And then I scored using a ruler all those lines because all those lines are fold lines that are on there. You'll have a bunch of little flaps and then you'll have all these little triangles. So after it's all scored, you need to fold it up. This is going to be hard to describe. It's, it's easier to do than it is to describe. You're basically going to fold it so that it makes kind of like a ball shape. And each facet of the ball will have like a pentagram, like a five-sided five star on it. So for the very first one, I'm going to use some hot glue here again. For the very first one, you can see I'm just putting the attaching that flap. And see how it makes like a little star on one face. Then you're going to turn it and you're going to glue the rest of the flaps. There's another one. 
So you keep doing that, just turning and folding and turning and folding, and it'll just kind of come together. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard to describe, um, but it's actually not very difficult to do at all. Trust me. And I'm just going to let you watch the rest of this. Here we are down to the very last flap. The very last one is a bit difficult to do because you can't really push from the inside to, to press it together. So I added a little extra glue just to make sure that it was secure. And if it's a bit messy on the outside, it's okay because we're gonna cover this whole thing with star points and you're not going to see it at all. And there you go, that's what you're gonna end up with. It's like a ball, but it has facets like a gem or like a Dungeons and Dragons die, if you know what I'm talking about. Each one of those little triangles that you see on the, f on the face of the center is gonna hold one star point. That's why we need 20 of them. So all you have to do is glue your star points down onto that center hub. And once again, I used the glue gun, the hot glue, because it was just so much easier. Uh, you put it on and it holds instantly. So the actual assembly is really, really fast. Now I was putting glue kind of all over that triangle shape, kind of putting it all over in the middle, but really that was a waste of glue because as I showed you, the flaps on the bottom of those star points are basically just on the edge. So I just glue it on the edge and again, had one actually pop up because I didn't put enough glue on the edge. So I had to fix that and just keep going all the way around until you have all your star points attached. What I tried to do was make sure that I didn't put all the blue ones together and all the red ones together. I tried to mix them up. That's why I keep turning it as I'm adding because I wanted all the colors to be evenly distributed around the entire star. And we're getting close to the edge. I figured out at this point that you just need to put the glue on the outside edge. It's a lot of fun watching this come together, I can tell you. And now we're down to the very last point. Okay, not last, second last. Here's the last one. And as you can see, you don't see the black lines and you don't see the hub at all or any of that white. It's really, really cool the way it turns out. Now, what you can do with these, you can hang them. You can attach a string and you can hang it from the ceiling. If you make a really tiny one, you could use them as ornaments. And what I did with mine is I cut one of those points off with a pair of scissors and I put it on the top of my tree as a tree topper. And I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. What's nice about this is when you turn them, you get a kind of different look at all the different Christmas cards, which is kind of fun. And there it is at the top of my tree. I have a very tiny tree this year. As you can see, it doesn't even go to the top of my door, but I have a tiny living room too. So you have to kind of squish things in there. So there you go. Give this one a try. I think you'll like it. Now I have other recycled Christmas card crafts on my channel. You can make all sorts of great things with recycled Christmas cards. So go ahead and check it out.